Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Big Man Boisterous coming to you with part two of this Bronze League badassery game between our two players, I don't know, the Red Protoss, and his enemy, Jetfire Prime, the mass expanding turret. We have him with three command centers and no expansions yet. It looks like this command center may be moving out to drop an expansion. No, it's going to go the other way. Okay, he's dropping his five command centers off of one base. That's going to be a lot of mules. Five, five command centers. I think he's already prepping for the end game where he just kills all of his SCVs and just mines by muling. Um, but actually, this is going to be a planetary fortress. That's interesting. It's, I guess it's not the worst idea to, to just get a macro orbital, but this early? Especially because, I mean, you, you, typically you don't want a planetary your... Uh, your expansion. Then again, he's getting all of his upgrades for the planetary. So this thing can hold 10 SCVs. It's going to get a bonus to armor once that structure armor finishes. And it has Ibex cannon range. So the Ibex cannon can fire 7 range. So this planetary is going to be a boss. It has 5 armor, 7 range. You know? It, it just doesn't care anymore. It also has some siege tanks to support, and this is really what you always want to do when you have a planetary, is to get siege tanks near it, um, especially when you're playing against a race that has pretty reasonable siege units, like uh, Protoss have the Colossi, because the planetary won't be able to hit siege units just with its cannon, so you really need those Colossi, and I don't know if it's going for Void Rays, which it is, I don't think it's going to be that effective. Due to the uh, due to the fact that Jetfire Prime is playing the single player campaign right now and has eight turrets defending his base from any sort of air, um, he is moving out with both of his command centers to double expand, and he still has his macro orbital here just chilling, gathering energy. Um, I'm surprised he's not muling, considering the fact that he got it so early and he's just been muling his main base all game. Um, so I'm very surprised to see that he isn't muling his expansion, but it does look like he is getting a fusion core, so I think we might just see some, uh, we might just see some battle cruisers coming out of here. Uh, looks like, are the, oh, he drops the SCVs to repair it just in time, and looks like the single play, it looks like playing the single player campaign is going pretty well for, uh, Jetfire Prime. Uh, these two bunkers and the nine siege tanks are going to have absolutely no issue cleaning up that entire army. Man, Jeffire Prime is a super turtle. I mean, look at this. He has four, seven, nine, and he used to have two here. So he used to have, oh no, take that, 12. So he used to have four, er, 12. Je er, he used to have 12 missile turrets with their building plating upgrade and extra range on their missiles so they can shoot down things like carriers when they launch out interceptors. Looks like, I don't know, is claiming the gold though, so his economy is going to be ahead right now. He's ahead actually by quite a lot, but Jetfire Prime just dropped eight mules from his, um, yeah, those must have been max maxed out for energy. I'm surprised that he just has this command center floating here and not building any sort of uh, any sort of building with it like an orbital because three orbitals are better than two orbitals and this is a planetary so that can't really become an orbital at this point. It's uh, its life designation has been set. Uh, he's also not producing any SCVs off of his four command centers so he has like 22 workers. And his economy is far, far behind. And wow, that is quite a few Dark Templars. Um, yeah, that is quite a few Dark Templars. I don't know what else I can use to explain how many. That's eight. That's twelve Dark Templars. So that's six Archons waiting to be made. Um, it looks like the Dark Shrine might go down here, but I don't. I don't think that I don't know even cares. Because he's just morphing in, you know, nine Archons, and he has a Dark Templar left over. So, he's just being a boss right now. He's going to charge with his nine Archons, and let's see, can he do any damage? He is probably going to get this command center without an issue. Uh, looks like the mass Viking out of Jetfire Prime is not that effective against the mass Archon army. And man, sometimes I just love Bronze League. 
for Mass Archon versus Mass Viking, like champs. Uh, and Jetfire Prime's entire economy is going to get wiped out in one blow, but he's Terran, so he has like 90 supply depot or 90 siege tanks and two bunkers, and he's going to be able to defend to defend his base forever from anything, especially because he has the Mass Turtle uh, missile turrets going on. But Jetfire Prime is saying, "That's it. I'm going to bed." I'm sick of being the sleepiest, the, the sluppiest human in the universe ever. So, I hope that Jetfire Prime manages to stop being so sleppy. And, uh, uh, this is Boisterous, coming to you guys. And you guys can check out more Boisterous action over at youtube.com slash user slash Boisterous SC2. I will hopefully have a new mic by tomorrow. Um, which means that you guys should definitely go check out the Zeke Fry Daily, because as far as I know, I think I'm commentating it for, for tomorrow, at least the later shift of it. Um, so I'll probably be doing the finals and some semi-final action, or maybe even going all the way back to the round of eight quarterfinals. But you guys should definitely check that out. Also, you should check me out commentating the probably going, what's going to be the ends of the Tuesday dailies. Um, and you guys can check out all of those tournament times, and you can watch the tournaments progress, and you can even sign up for them yourselves, because Zeke is such an awesome website. Um, it's over at z33k.com. You guys can also check out my clan, which is rhgaming.com. Uh, we do a lot of stuff, including leagues of all, uh, including all level of leagues. We have a big, pretty big mentor program, and we're working uh, towards getting a Diablo 3 uh, release infrastructure ready. So we'll probably go and be having a lot of Diablo 3 content as well. So anyway, guys, this is Boyster signing out.